Hello, my name's John Walter and I'm the curator of Shonky The Aesthetics of Awkwardness, which is an exhibition that came about through Hayward Gallery touring exhibitions doing an open call, which happens every three years. They have about 150 applications and I put in a proposal for this project, which has grown out of my work as an artist. I make installations that include painting, sculpture, performance, artist books. Uh, they're on a grand scale and they are maximal, which we might come to later. But Shonky is really about a certain type of production values that is inherent in my work and I wanted to think about how this might be manifest in other artists' work. And so this exhibition brings together artists from the UK and abroad, uh, some alive, some dead, and working in a variety of media some analog and some digital to think about the role that the hand, uh, awkwardness, lumpenness, distortion, dissonance, bad taste and queer politics, which are some of the themes, might play in making an alternate art history, I suppose, for myself and how I might fit into the art world and this is really uh, a mega work, a kind of uber work made out of 14 artists work. So a lot of people ask me what is this word shonky and some people know it and some people don't and I haven't quite worked out why some people know it and some don't and it could be regional. My mum is from Kokodi, I might be saying that wrong. She doesn't know it but somebody else I know from there does. Some people in Hull knew it, some people in Kent know it but some people in Manchester and on the west coast don't know it, but some people in Dublin do know it. So we haven't quite got to the bottom of the regionality of this word. It could come from a Yiddish word, shonaka, which means peddler, so it could be a racial slur. In the dictionary it's defined as something corrupt or bent, so it's got a negative association. But I've always colloquially used it in a positive way to describe things that are maybe precarious or elegantly solve a problem that they weren't meant for. It could be the waiter that steadies the table by putting a paper napkin under one of the legs to get it to sit right. Or it could be a piece by Fishley and Vice where lots of objects knock onto one another to make a, a kind of sculpture that moves. Or in Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure there's a machine at the start that makes his breakfast for him. So it's something odd and playful, but elegant and funny. So this is the second iteration of the exhibition uh, after it appeared at the Mac in Belfast first of all. So we've already had a rehearsal of this and this is, it's very important to emphasize that this isn't a rehashing of that show. It's a completely new iteration of it. And as the show travels, I learn more about it and the rest of the team working on it get to understand it. So it's a matrix. I mean, this is several works by several artists that can be recombined into different combinations to make new outcomes. And that's what I mean by maximalist in the sense that this is a complex work that can be reformed to uh, describe new spatial and conceptual and emotional possibilities. So a question I've been asked a lot about within Shonky is um, the old uh, art question, can anybody make this and does that matter? And I think that my answer to that is anybody can make anything if they decide to, but that we put the emphasis on the democracy of the making within Shonky. So the joy of working with an institution like the DCA in Dundee is that it's got an enormous amount of other resources to it. So as well as the exhibition in the galleries, there's an opportunity to work in the print shop and there's also a lot of education workshops, the activity room, and also a cinema program that takes certain uh, film and moving image works that could be considered shonky and allows them up for discussion. Shonky has grown out of my own drawing having a lot of character to it and not being able to make something neutral and over time realising that this is a positive thing. 
but it's a hard lesson to learn as an artist. So when I left art school, uh, when I finished my MA, there was no context for what I was doing. Nobody wanted to exhibit it. It was too brightly coloured and bombastic and maximal and uh, awkward looking to be exhibited in group shows. So I've had to decide, am I gonna just quit or am I gonna take responsibility for where this lives in the world? And I've decided that I will own that and build the context, build the universe, build the canon for what I'm doing. And curating is one aspect of that and Shonky is the latest version of that. And I would say to everybody that you have to build your own art history and decide who are your peers, who are the people that influenced you, what is the work that you like and are interested in and what is the work that you're not interested in and what don't you need. And there will be prevailing taste at any given moment in time and history. We don't live in a pluralistic world, even though we're told we do because of the internet. There are always tastes and they're always changing. And what Shonky is saying is, you can also rupture that and take control of it for yourself.